Hey YouTube, Christian Pepper Gal here, and today I am going to be cooking up the hamburger gravy and mashed potatoes meal in a bag that we made up just a few days ago. So I wanted to show you the process of cooking it up in the bag. So why don't you come along with me? Okay, the first thing I want to do is to explain to you that this is the bag I'll be cooking up today. And as you can see, this bag has all the instructions and how to do it, and this one doesn't. That's because I had planned to use this one all along for today, and to be honest with you, by the time I got done writing this up on four other bags, my hands were tired, so I decided to forego that. But I want to assure you, the same thing is in this bag that is in this bag. So with having said that, now I want to go ahead and start uh, cooking up the meal in the bag. The first thing we're going to do is to open this. There's little tabs there that, I don't know if you can see it, tab there that you can pull. Well, these things never ever seem to work for me. I'm just not strong enough. So I have my handy dandy scissors here to uh, help open up this bag. You can also use a knife if you're out on a trail or um, camping or somewhere and you didn't have access to scissors. And this is zip, has a zipper in it, so I'm going to open the zipper part. And inside, we have a baggie. I'm going to pull the baggie out. And then we have an oxygen absorber. I'm going to pull the oxygen absorber out. And the only thing left in the bag now is freeze-dried hamburger. The next step is to take boiling water, one and, a half, one and a half cups of boiling water, and pour it into the bag. And I boil the water in the microwave for convenience. So I'm going to go ahead, it's, it's just out of the microwave, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it in the bag with the freeze-dried hamburger, the whole cup and a half. Then I'm going to use the zip seal and zip it shut. If you didn't have the zip sealed ones, you can use clamps, um, you know, fold it over and use clamps to close it. And then I'm going to take my bag koozie and put the bag inside there. it up and place the bag inside. Then I'm going to close it up. I'm going to set that aside. Let it sit for um, 10 to 15 minutes. I'll check it at 10, but I'm pretty sure it's going to take the full 15 minutes to dehydrate that freeze-dried hamburger meat. In the meantime, we have the baggie with our mashed potatoes, gravy, spices, whatever um, we put in it that is sitting aside and waiting. We'll add that once the hamburger meat has been dehydrated. So we're going to wait. I won't uh, keep you on camera for that long. I will be back in a flash and we'll check in and see how it's doing. Okay, I am back. And I got to tell you, something went wrong when I recorded the last section of the video showing you me putting it all together, taking it out of the bag and putting it in the bowl. It just didn't record. Although I know it was recording because I saw the numbers count down on the camera. Fortunately, I discovered that before I was completely done eating the results of the video. 
<laughs> so I wanted to at least show you what it what it looks like when it's finished and to tell you that when I took the bag out of the cozy then I added the mashed potatoes and the gravy that was in the baggie stirred it all up and then poured it into the bowl so that you could see it you can eat it right out of that bag just like that once you stir it up and let it sit for another minute or two stir it again and it's ready to eat but as I said I put it in the bowl so I could show you what it looks like once it's cooked up and that didn't work out exactly like I wanted it to so here we go <laughs> I'm going to show you some of what's left here and this is what it looks like you can see there's the hamburger bits in there and it's the mashed potatoes and gravy and it really does taste amazing mmm mmm -hmm. you can kind of attest to the fact that it tastes amazing or I wouldn't have been eating up the results of the what I showed you in the last first portion of the video so there you have it I apologize that it wasn't done in the normal way but we got the most important part in the first section of the video so if you like this video in spite of the complications please click on the like button below and if you'd like to see more videos like this only done in actual completion then go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below also and then click on the little bell next to it because that will give you notifications then when the next video comes out and the following videos so that's it for today. Until next time, happy prepping and God bless.